Alright. Now we're at the stadium. Where are we now? A hundred percent positive that this is the Grand Arena. It used for all kinds of events in Liberal, like martial arts tournament and stuff. I still despair of the fact that Olivier actually entered. If I didn't know that he was going to, I could have stopped him. But by the time I heard that he, what, what he was going on, they already won. Right, they won already. Haha, <laughs> aren't you used to his surprises by now? Oh yeah, you and your brothers took part in the tournament too, right? Josie? Josie. Estelle and Joshua mentioned it a while back. Yeah, we did. Can't say it was much fun, but we were basically just dragged into the arena as criminals. Wait, where did that Josie thing come from? Why am I the only one who gets that weird nickname? Huh? Not a fan? It just popped up in my head and I thought it was sounded, um, kinda cute. Anyway, it fits you perfectly too, but if it bothers you that much, I guess I could go with something else, like Joe? Just call me Joseph, like everyone else does. Uh, regardless, it feels as though something is lying away for us in here. We should proceed with caution. Agreed. Agreed indeed. Let's go this way. Is this it? It's like oh, there's a recovery place there. The door is locked from this way. <laughs> uh, probably the other way then. I haven't been to the other way. So let's try this way. Door is locked from that side as well. What about going up? We've gone up already though, have we? Well, there's another door here. Bring me the fist of steel, which nothing in this world can move. Only then shall door open. That's a sun door, okay. Doors open, okay, so what about... I swear we've been here, right? I swear we've been here. Yes. Okay, there we go. No one's here, though. That's expected. Well, we made it to the arena. Heh, <laughs> this is where some enemies show up out of nowhere for us to fight, isn't it? Oh, you, you got that right. Whoa! Look what you've done. It's just a coincidence, I swear. Me and my big mouth. I feel like I've just set up. S I've just been set up or something. Who who cares why they're here? You've got to fight them. We've got to fight them. Here they come. Okay, so we got lingering souls and we got these guys. Our knights. These things are weak to time. So that. What does she have? She had defense 30? Faint? Steel? What does steel do? Fail to steal anything.
I don't know if it's useful. Maybe it's it's a it's a hit or miss. I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. All right, this thing's dead. Strength sucker. Ow. You're targeting him. Hound Gale. Blade Dancer. That's a confused 20. Oh, we got an Impede on him. That's good. Impede and Mute. That's good. Let's do this though. What did that do? That did no damage for some reason. Uh, I just want to confirm this, like, does it not work on that guy? Okay, we do get something. Purging bomb. That's a purging bomb. Oh, so it's like, it's like a tear bomb, except there's more... There's more stuff to it, okay. That's fair. I wonder if I can steal again. I'm not doing any damage to this thing, right? Yeah. It's expected. Pretty useful. Um, you can pretty much get like unlimited purging bombs, right? Ow. One down. You're weak to fire. I should have done this earlier. Did so much damage, damn. Yeah, uh, see that again. Not what I meant to do, though. There is nothing my sword cannot cut. Is there really nothing? Oh, there's more. Okay. Ugh, more. We'll defeat as many as we can. Do. All right. Uh, we are getting frames problems. So let me just fix that real quick. Um, I don't know what it is. There we go. No, it's still. What's the problem here? Huh. Are we back? Hope oh, we're back. Okay, we're back. Uh, we got armored knights and we got these dark blade things.
I'm probably Houndale. We're gonna try out this, uh... This Escraft, yeah, so... Show them who's righteous. Yes. Explosions. That's what we need. Damn, that does so much damage. Down it goes. This animation looks pretty cool, eh? That's correct. So more- Ooh, that's a big one. But how many of these fights are we gonna have to do? Our next fall seems to be quite large, too. They don't say. Boss fight? Wait, this thing looks familiar. Uh, looks like a boss that we fought in the second chapter when we were at Janess Academy, right? What in? The hell? Is that Armored Horseman? Seems to be just like the one Estelle's crew beat under Janess. Oh, it is. Or is it? It looks like a different variant of it, right? The other one was a uh, pretty brownish kind of thing. This thing looks more metallic. And not to jinx us, but this is probably gonna be the last one. Let's just finish this. Alright, come here, Corsi. Sure, what's good. Alright, we got some skull heads as well, so. What are they weak to? With the water. Kinda wanna take care of those guys first. If anything. Damn, ow. Oh, I didn't get anything? I wonder if you can plunder the boss. You probably can, right? Alright, 800. I want that turn, though. Oh yeah, give me that turn. Oh, did I tell you? This was my favorite animation. Damn, look at that. So angelic. Get the strike of heaven. Yes. That was great. Let's get that double shield going as well, though. Oh, we called allies already. Damn. Ow. Right, let's try plunder. Attack three? Wait, you for real? You can actually get quartz from from the boss. And attack three to boot? Damn, son. Yo, plunder is MVP. I didn't know you can get- I thought I was gonna get a purging bomb from that. 
judging from like the fact that we got a like two wording. Damn, Joseph. Okay, she she has proved her worth in the party now. I was gonna bench her like just from the test drive up there. After the test drive, but um She's not that bad. She can plunder she can plunder bosses and get pretty good courts. Now this really really begs the question on like what what else can you get with plunder? Ragna bind. Do I wanna bind this guy? I kinda wanna stay away from this guy. Uh kinda wanna chain two as well. See that. Do it! Not too much of a damage here, then. Ascension. Okay, he's calling allies, though. He's weak to time. And you know what time it is. Ow. I think I'm supposed to so blur these things, right? Two thousand damage, okay. Uh I think I'm supposed to I'm supposed to destroy these skull heads as soon as possible. They are gonna explode. And it kinda distracts them, right? Because you have you have to keep spending his turn to summon these things. It's not too bad of an idea. Oh what is this? Oh no! Oh, like one e one CP off from that. Damn. This is bad. All right. This is really bad. Okay, we can do this. All right. Yes, we can. Actually, can I can I just do another one of these? Take that! Dark bringers and carrying anything else to steal. Okay, so you can really plunder once. I was just gonna say. Okay, we dodged that. That's good. Not the best thing to do here. I think I'm supposed to take care of these things first. We're getting damage for them. Yeah, sure. Oh, damn, that did so much damage. And he's going again? What is this? Uh. Wow. That was ridiculous. We got We got delayed twice. All right. So 
I gotta avoid getting hit by that twice. That's insane. Okay. I still want to save that CP though. Just get rid of this thing first. Might want to spread out. Uh, let's plunder. We uh -oh. missed, that's pretty bad too. Really want to spread out there. There, you can get some soap blur. Nice. Probably kill this thing now. Oh no! <laughs> the R and Jesus has not liked me so far. Right. Back attack three, nice. Thunderstorm. These purging bombs come in handy now. I know we're getting damaged there, but we're also building CP, which is very important. So I think I want to save Alden Pete whenever he does anything crazy. It's like, very important. It's holy blessing... You? God is to be blessed. Thank you. Pretty much I want shield up every time. Alright. I don't know if we were unlucky there or... It, it was just... A really bad play on my part. But he attacked three times. He took three turns, damn. That was insane. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have, you know, got myself... Caught up with the explosions there from the skull heads. That might have made the difference. Uh, let's see. So this is where we want to impede him, right? Let's hope this works. Okay, it works. That's good. And he does it again. Huh. She does not have impede. That's unfortunate. We can tear a bomb though. Come on, let's do it! Let's do it! But you have impede, right? Yes, you have impede and you. Nice. 
Alright, now we should be okay, right? And then you're gonna attempt to do it again. Okay, so you can pretty much perpetually just stop him doing from the, from doing this, right? That's a lot of CP, though. No way. No sacrifice arrow yet. Yeah, he's gonna do it again. No way. It's good that Arc Fencer reached that far and it only cost 25 CP. That's a good thing. Damn, you can't Mirage Edge anymore though. So this has to happen. I don't think he has MP, does he? Cross Gear Rage 2, AT Delay. Can resist AT Delay. Good news is that we dished out a bunch of damage before you did that, so. This run is a lot more smooth. There we go. A lot smoother than before. Nice. All right, what's next? Oh man, getting hit three times in a row is pretty tough. But damn, yo, Miss Capula was pretty MVP. She plundered a, she plundered a attack three quarts. Wow. I did not expect that. Chain two, okay. Definitely did not expect that at all. There it goes. So that means there's gonna be a bunch of courts that you can probably get just from plundering things, right? Ooh! And left behind a stone. Who could, who could it be? Oh. Oh, we're getting frame rates issue again. This is bad. Alright, we gotta. Make sure that doesn't happen, right? There we go. Um, ceiling stone. Sweet. Is this our prize for winning? <laughs> Only the best for the champions. Whoever set this up sure put a lot of effort into making it feel like a proper tournament. <laughs> how dedicated of them. Yes, how dedicated indeed. Well, congrats, gang. We've found our fifth ceiling stone. Let's head back and see what's inside, and who's inside. Understood. It's hard to believe that there's seriously someone in that thing, though. Uh, it's on the stadium, so maybe... Anna Lace? Because we met her at the, the tournament, right? Uh-oh. I'm lagging pretty hard here, I don't know what is causing it.
Hmm. Still getting, still getting pretty bad. Uh oh. All right, just one sec. There we go. Um, see who it is. <laughs> Castle's open. Oh. That looks like... Yeah, that looks like bad frame rates. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna have to... <laughs> I have no idea what is going on today. Um... Let me just. There we go. Can, are we? Are we? Are we? Are we done here? Okay. I think we're back. <laughs> so even he ended up in there. So one of the stars of the show makes his grand appearance. Okay, so it's a. It's a dude, right? <laughs> Olivier. Is this someone you know too? <laughs> no is an understatement. He's everyone's favorite black haired friends. Oh, black haired. Wait, Joshua? My boy? Yo, my boy? My boy's actually back? Is he back though? <laughs> Yo, he back. Yo, my boy's really back. Yo, he's fresh, dude. Look at them. New clothes. Ugh. Estelle, get down. What? Joshua. Joshua. Jill said. Tita. Is this a dream? Or some kind of illusionary tactic meant to disorient me? Trust you to get right to it theorizing. Sorry, but this ain't no dream or illusion. Or for that matter. I'm surprised to find so many of you here. Mind telling me exactly what the situation we found ourselves is? Alright, we got some explaining to do. Ugh. Um... Guess that wasn't enough to convince you this is all actually happening, huh? No, not at all. Consider me convinced. While the idea of this being an illusion seemed initially plausible, the existence of your companion over there made it quite unlikely. Me? Correct. Am I right in assuming that you're a member of the Grails Ritter? You can tell. Well, you're with Kevin and use a Templar sword to fight. It's safe to... It's safe enough to assume on my part. My name's Joshua. Incidentally, Joshua Bright. Reyes Argent, I'm a squire. Since we're on the subject, I'm curious how you came to be familiar with us and our organization. <laughs> yeah. He seems to know a lot. Wait a sec, Joshua. Why does her being there prove this isn't an illusion? Is me being here not approved enough for you? Oh, you know, I don't think I've ever seen you with that visor on before, have I? Does that have to do with the delivery company you mentioned running a while back? It suits you. Yeah, that is. That's it. We're doing awesome for ourselves these days, too. But you didn't answer my question. But you didn't... Oh, okay. But you... But you didn't answer my question. Surely you can tell just by looking at me that I'm the real thing. Generally, when you're an illusion, the other people who appear in it are people you're familiar with. 
That reason being is, they draw on and utilize knowledge the victim has within an order to create the world. I've met the rest of you, but Rius is a complete stranger. And not only a complete stranger, an unusual one too. So she might not prove for certain that this isn't an illusion, but she does make it seem rather unlikely. I... I think I get what you're saying, but maybe. Basically, the reason I don't prove this isn't the, isn't an illusion, is because we're so close, right? Well, you could put it that way, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's fine by me. <laughs> anyway, it's so good to see you again, Joshua. I'm so glad to see you looking well, too. You've grown quite a bit in the past half year, haven't you? Oh, this was a half year, half year time skip, huh? Between the second chapter and the third, right? Oh, you noticed. I'm surprised to see you've got caught up in all of this, too. It must have been a real surprise to find yourself all here all of a sudden. Yeah, it still doesn't feel completely real to me, even after all this time, to be honest. Alright. You don't know where Estelle could be, do you? I wish I did. That said, I'm sure that she was surrounded by the same white light that I was. I just say the odds are fairly high that she's somewhere in Phantasma like us. Oh. Actually, where were you before you ended up here anyway? Your last letter said that you were in Erebonia. Were you still there? Oh, my boy, Erebonia? Oh no, not anymore. We're over in Crossbell at the moment. Or were, with the situation as it is now. Crossbell? What are you doing there? Really? We were flying over there before I ended up here too. You were? Hmm. I wonder if there's anything to do that. Uh, I wonder if there's anything to that. It's relatively close to liberal, so... There may have been something to do with it. I myself was in Erebonia, and I was in the town closest to the border to, with Liberal. Alright. I've got a question for you, Father Granham. Supposing that we assume all of this was caused by an incredibly powerful artifact, do you think such a thing would be able to exert its influence as far as Crossbell or Parm? I seriously, seriously doubt it. The only thing I can think of was that it was able to affect that why an area was the Orioles' uh, orbital shutdown phenomena. That actually did reach the southern edge of Erebonia. Yeah, the thing was powerful. It's a it's a scepter, so of course. So it would need to be something as powerful as one of the scepterns, then. Right. Yeah. Exactly what I said there. Although, speaking of which, is the Orioli itself still unaccounted for? You can't mean that this is the work of the Orioli. Well, I hope it's not. I don't think we would. We should rule out the possibility, Tita. But even if we assume the Orioli is involved in some way, that wouldn't answer most of the questions that we want to answer to. Indeed. Such as who our enemies are, or how Gransel ended up filled with fiends and monsters uh, and magic barriers. Or how we ended up facing actual embodiments of devils from church scriptures or the presence of higher elements. Until we have a theory that we can explain all those mysteries, we should probably refrain from jumping to conclusions. I would have to agree. Still, that being the case, I'd like to propose that we focus on working out what happened to Gransel first and foremost. My thoughts exactly. I know you're probably worried about Estelle right now, but would you be up for helping us? That was my intention from the beginning. I can't very well turn my back on friends in need, for one thing. Besides, I think I'll find her a lot faster by helping you out rather than sitting in here worrying. I hope so. <sighs> well, I'm glad to, to have you with us at least. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. Cheers, man. Well, as soon as we were ready, 
We should make our way back to the capital. I expect something will be will have changed there as a result of us releasing Joshua from his stone. Right. All right, we got him back. So, the vendor is going to the bench. You ready? Bringing someone who's ready. I'm ready. Anyways, um, that was pretty surprising. We got Joshua back, and we got some juicy quartz, baby. Attack three, damn. Joe said it really, really proved their worth. Anyways, if you liked the video, be sure to give me a like. Stay subscribed for more content. I'm gonna try to, you know, sort out all the video rendering and, and um, the recording process because we seem to be getting a lot of like these frame rates issue. I'm not sure if it has to do with the game or the video recording software, but hopefully that gets sorted out by next time we record. And I'm really, really, you know, sorry that this, uh, this has to happen. I want to bring best quality video as much as possible. But anyways, see you in the next part.